Hi everyone, I'm 12 News Meteorologist Stephen Matragrano here with a Weather Now update for you. Looking outside in Providence, blue sky, sunshine, cold temperatures though. Looking at readings in the 30s today. Feels like temperatures in the 20s, a lot colder feel out there compared to yesterday. Newport can see some of the white caps there on the water. It's still gusty out there, even down at the shoreline. Looking at the camera shaking, those wind gusts, you know, could be upwards of 30 miles per hour in spots. Radar is quiet, no rain or snow to talk about just yet. We should be seeing some snow squalls later on this afternoon, though, especially away from the coastline. Uh, river flood warnings have been in effect for quite some time. They continue for the Taunton River, the Patuxet, the Wood River, and also the Pawcatuck River down in South County. Looking at also a wind advisory for Block Island, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, and parts of the Cape until 7 p.m. for gusts to about 50 miles per hour. A little bit stronger winds offshore. This morning's forecast looks like this. Again, looking at temperatures rising through the 30s. We'll be near 40 this afternoon with increasing clouds out ahead of our Arctic front that will be tracking on through, bringing us those rain uh, and snow showers that are expected to bring us you know, some gusty winds and at times low visibility in those snow squalls, again, favoring northern areas with a coating of snow and some potential slick spots. Behind the front, much colder air and drier air as well that arrive for tonight and into our Monday. So this afternoon, again, keep an eye to the sky. It's kind of similar to like a summertime thunderstorm type of deal where uh, they could be kind of scattered about and, you know, last about 15, 20 minutes or so. But they could, you know, pack quite a punch with some gusty winds and uh, some, again, you know, occasional heavy snow that could fall with them. Uh, coastal areas may be a little bit too warm, so I'm thinking either it'll start as some rain or just maybe mixing with rain at times, but still looking at, uh, again, the further north you go, the better chance of seeing those snow squalls track on through temperatures falling into the lower 30s by this evening. For tonight, very cold, bitterly cold, honestly, near about 20 degrees. Gusty winds continue west about 5 to 15 miles per hour, gusting to 30 at times. Wind chills will be in the teens and single digits. Tuesday snow threat. That's our next consistent snow threat with some steady snow. Looks to be a light, a light to moderate event across our region. This is Tuesday 8 a.m. Can go forward here. Here's noon. Looking at some of that snow tracking over the area into the 5 p.m. hour as well. And uh, I'm thinking some light accumulations with this. Uh, maybe a little bit of a plowable snow across our area, but still a few days to watch that and uh, to kind of hone in on some totals, but generally thinking it'll be a you know one to three, two to four inch type event. Could see some enhancement though across southeastern areas. We'll be watching that closely. It's an interesting forecast for our Tuesday. But anyways, a couple days to track that, but you know the, the, the main story of this whole week is gonna be the cold air plus those uh, snow chances both Tuesday and again Friday. So a lot to talk about, a lot to watch, and we'll of course keep you updated here on WPRI.com. So that's your latest Weather Now update. Thank you for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your weekend.